Hi, this is Mohit Tyagi. Since we are doing a series of real-time SQL interview questions, so in that regards, this is the third part of SQL real-time scenario-based questions. I have uploaded the first two parts already. So if you have missed that, so please go and watch. I have added the link in description. So this is the SQL problem. So in this, we have two table, table A and table B. We have a single ID column and we have few records. Right. So with the help of these two tables, we need to find the output of all, all these type of join, right? So we have uh, we have mentioned all the all the output along with the picture, right? So that we can understand easily. So first we will see the inner join, right? So if you will see in table A, we have one, one, two times, right? And in table B, we have one, one time. And if you will see the picture, so for the inner join, we will take the common record from both the table, right? Because in table A, we have two records. So that's why, so uh, it will give us the two records, right? One with respect to one and second one with respect to one again, right? That's how we will get this two records. So we can also see whether we are getting the same output in, in SQL as well. So this is the, so this is the table A and table B. If I run these, so we are having five record from table A and we are having three record from table B. So if I will simply apply the inner join, inner join, right, A dot star, B dot star, from table A inner join table B on A dot ID is equal to B dot ID, right? So if I run this, so we will get the two records, right? Same we are getting in Excel, right? So now move to the left join. So if you will see the picture, so we can see we are having common records from both the table plus table A records, which are not available in table B. So even we can say we will take all the records from table A plus the common records which are available in table B. So this is the inner join output, right? We already have. Now come to the down part. So these are the records which are available only in table A, right? So that's why we are having these three records, right? So if you will see in table B, we are having only one records as common, right? Except that we are not having anything common. So that's why we are taking null with respect to, right? So this, this upper two records is the same like we are getting from inner join and the down three. So these are the records which are available only in table A, right? Inner join we are having two, in the left join we are having five records, right? We can also check into the SQL. Instead of inner, we can use the left. And we will use the left, so you can see we are having five records, right? Now come to the right, right join. So into the right join, if you will see into the picture, we are taking the common records, right? Common records means the inner join. So these are the two records which are coming from the inner join plus the records which are available only in table B, right? So except one, we are having two records like three and null, right? So these two records plus three and null. So that's how we are having the four records in right join, right? So we can also check into the SQL right join and we are having four records, right? 
now coming to the full join right so in full join you can see into the picture we will take all the records which are available in table a and all the records which are available in table b whether they are common or not right so in table a we are taking all five records right one one two null and null right and from table b also we are taking all the records like one three and null so this one and three one and three will come into the last right and because this is the inner first two records are coming from the inner join these three records are coming from the left table and these two records are coming from the right table right because these three and null are unique in table b this two null null these three records are only unique in table a right so so that's how these three coming from left and these two three and null coming from right and these upper two one is coming from inner join right so that's how we are having this total seven records right into the full tip so if we, we can also check into the sql full join and uh, we can also check right seven records now come to the cross join right how many records will be into the cross join so a cross join work like uh, multiply right so how many records we are having in table a5 and total three records we are having in table b so 5 multiply 3 15 so we will get all the combination from table a records and table b records so that will be 5 multiply 3 that will be 15 right so we can also check that into the sql so in cross join we don't need to uh, take the condition right so we can check total 15 reports right 15 reports 3 multiply 5 now uh, come to the left excluding so left excluding is nothing but we are taking only records which are available in table a right we are not taking common records either we are not taking uh, records which are available in table b only right so we can see into the picture we are taking all the only the red red one right which are exclusively available only in table a so in table a we have three records right two null null so these are the three records which are available only in table a right so it will it is not like null and null right so null is not something that we can uh, we can say this is matching right so null is nothing right so we can say in in table a we have three records right two null null right so these are the three records which are unique in table a only right so two null null right so we will get uh the output as a three records right so we can also cross verify and uh, how we will apply the query for the left excluding select a dot id b dot id from from a left join left join b on a dot id is equal to b dot id where where b dot id is null right so we are just adding this where condition b dot id is null because we are looking only for the exclusive record which are available only in table a so that's why we are giving this condition where b dot id is null if i run this 
so we will have these these three records two null null so these are the three records which are exclusive only in table a right so now i move to the right excluding so same for the right excluding we will take only exclusive records which are available only in table b and uh, if i talk about the sql query so instead of left join we will use the right join because because table b is on the right side where a dot id is null right so if i will run this so we will get three and null which are only available in table b right so that's how we are getting two records so last one is the outer excluding so in outer excluding we are taking only exclusive record which are available only in table a plus exclusive record which are available only in table b right so in table a we have two null null are the exclusive and in table b we have three null are the exclusive right so same like we have taken here two null null these three records coming from table a and this three and null is coming from table b so that's how we will get the five records right so we can also see like how we will write this query to get that we will use the full join right right full join and in the where condition we will use one more b dot id is null let's run this so we can see like we have total five records these uh, first three record is for the table a which are which are unique in table a and the last two records are unique in table b so total five records right so that's how we can get this so this is the interview question right so they can ask you any kind of uh, like join so i we have taken all the possible join that we can take and these are the output right so thank you for watching this video bye have a nice day